Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, if we could have your attention for just a couple of more minutes. Uh, we've just had some really great timing, and we have just one more speaker for you. I'd like to introduce to you a friend, a new acquaintance that I've made who I cherish as a friend. This gentleman sat with us as we visited with the president a week ago, and he sat there representing the Department of Agriculture. And I'm sure the things that we talked about, notes were made and plans are made to check and see and pursue, if possible, some of the things we did talk about. And I'd like to introduce to you the Deputy Secretary of Agriculture, the right-hand man of Secretary Berglund in that department who has been a commissioner of agriculture and understands the agriculture issues and policies that are discussed and his input into them is extremely valuable to the secretary. Jim Williams. Jim. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. And I will be very brief here because I'm going to have an opportunity to speak to your group in just a few minutes. But I did participate last week and had an opportunity to not just hear from your president, but from all those that were there representing you. And each had an opportunity to respond to the direct question from the president, uh, what do you personally have on your mind and what would you like to share with me here today? And from that, I made notes and have briefed the secretary on each of the people who commented and what their comments were all about. It's just one more opportunity for making input at a time when we are going public with the structured dialogue. The secretary would be here tonight instead of me, except that he's in Spokane, Washington, holding the, I believe, eight of the all-day hearings that are being held all across the country. Tomorrow you'll be in Fresno, California, and next week the 10th hearing will be at Purdue University at Lafayette, uh, Indiana. So I'm simply here tonight to, to say hello to you and to welcome you when you come to Washington to come by USDA. I'm the guy that stays there and the secretary does uh, most all the travel for the two of us. And not unlike when I was Lieutenant Governor of Florida, the governor and I never traveled together and when he went away, I stayed home. And in this job, uh, I have the same arrangement. One of us is in Washington at all times and the exception is my being here tonight uh, and catching an early morning flight back to Washington in the morning. But I look forward to hearing from you and what you do here in convention, but more importantly, uh, what you and your organization say in the structure studies and the dialogue that will continue with your executive board after the public hearings are completed this month over the next two months. And remember that the understanding that we go in is that USDA and Secretary Berglund do not have a policy. If it's not broke, let's don't fix it. But if it needs fixing and it needs to address the problems that we gain from this dialogue, that's the purpose of it for the 1981 massive farm bill that will be before the Congress. Whether Secretary Berglund is there or whether I'm there or not, this data will be gathered for the purpose of putting together the most effective policy in 1981 that's possible from the hearings that we're now holding. Thank you very much. We certainly appreciate Mr. Williams stopping in for a few minutes here at our meeting. I was told to expect him, and I was very glad to see him walk in that door when he did because I can't sing or dance. I've got a whole long list of notes of things that I thought should be said at the end, but then I started crossing them off, and the only thing left was, thank you, we'll see you over at the next meeting.